Foster Miller and I'm a player, and you're watching the Players Network. You're watching the Players Network. I'm Deborah Scott from Players Network, and I'm sitting here with Simon. 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 I think he's busy judging other people because he's got his clipboard. Simon, you anything to say? You know what? Simon's not talking. You know why? Because he's a wax figure. And I'm at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum right now at the Venetian on Las Vegas Boulevard. And it, it's just a pretty great place. So I'm going to go in and check it out. Um, hey, Arnold, how you doing? Same, same situation. Simon doesn't talk. Arnold, Arnold not, not much to say. I'm sitting here with Kurt inside of the Wax Museum. Kurt is the consumer... Sales manager. And see, and I couldn't remember that because it's a long title because he does so much here. Now, tell me exactly what you do here and how you pick the people that actually get their wax figures put in here. Well, my role here is uh, I handle all consumer publications and relations, marketing and everything. So how we pick figures is they're actually picked by popular demand. At the end of the attraction we have a guest questionnaire for people and they place who they really want to see in here. And we do it mostly by that. So I mean most people, some people are still living, some people aren't. Does it kind of Correct. We tend to mostly do figures that are still living. Um, our most recent addition is Tupac Shakur and he was uh, the most highly requested rapper. So we put him in after 10 years after his death. Well, who's the most popular one to see when you're when people are walking in here? Our figure that's most popular and it's held year in and year out is Princess Diana. She's always our most popular yeah. figure. I mean, did you have her in here also before she passed away? Yes, we did. Her figure was actually molded and made about a couple weeks before she actually passed away. So she did the sitting a couple weeks before. I mean, it's, it's pretty unbelievable, these figures. I mean, seriously, sometimes when you're looking at them, you think that their eyes are moving or that they're just going to, like, change positions or change their facial expression. Do you sometimes get freaked out if you're, like, here by yourself? Not me. Um, a lot of people do. <laughs> we do have uh, the rumors of this place being haunted, being built on the old sands grounds and everything. So we do some people hear some things, but it just goes with the territory. Yeah. Well, I think it's a pretty wild place. I mean, it really is. Gosh, one of, maybe one of these days I'll be in here. Eh, no, probably not, but, you know, I can just pretend. <laughs> I can just... I'm good at that, though, kind of. Like, do you ever freeze? Like, uh, every once in a while. while. Yeah. What are we do in the monsters? We do in monsters, <laughs> as we'll see later. Really? Oh, you do have monsters here? We do have a monsters, monsters Alive attraction. Some of the figures talk. Do all of them have sound or no? Not all of them. The most, more of our figures that are newer have more interactivity to them. So there are sound bites mm -hmm. and different things. Like for instance, Hugh Hefner is a silicone figure, so okay. he's actually kind of squishy and bendable. So he's fun with that. You can putt with Tiger, shoot baskets on Shaq. So the new figures you can do a lot more with. Tell me a little bit about J Lo. I mean, when you touch her butt cheeks, her real cheeks light up because she blushes. JLo does have the blushing mechanism there. It's a part of the interactivity that we want to have. Tell me a little bit about the history, Kurt, of, of the Wax Museum. Well, Madame Tussauds, was a, she was an actual person. Um, she made death masks during the French Revolution, and it's just carried on over and over over time. It moved from France into London, where its current location, the original location, is there today. Right now, we do have six locations around the world. Um, Hong Kong, Amsterdam, Shanghai, London, New York, and ourselves here in Las Vegas. You know what, thanks for showing us around. I think this place is just fabulous. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go look around. Big fan of yours, but you actually look like you gained some weight. Well, if I'm not the next playmate, then who will be, you know? Oh wait, that's right, I'm not a blonde. Damn, really good food. Thank you very much. I mean, everyone calls me Melissa, so hey, Mom. Mom? Well, she's just too busy smiling. You take a brunette just once? You know what? He's not going to say much, but I'll be back. I'll be back. I actually thought I'd take one of these guys home with me, but um, maybe both. <laughs> I mean, it's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. What do you think, Mel? No, no comment. Sebastian? Again, no, no comment. They're speechless around me. <laughs> what can you do?